All right. Welcome back to the channel, people. Uh, only three things are promised in life. Death, taxes, and Eddie Hearn lying about Deontay Wilder ticket sales. <laughs> Let's talk about one of those three things and only one of those three things in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel subscribers. If you are not subscribed, I hope that you accept my invitation to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. Also, thank you to everybody that supports on the Patreon, everybody that supports on the live streams and everybody that has joined the channel as a member. Let's talk about Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury's fight that's coming up and some things that you know are coming every single solitary time Deontay Wilder fights. I swear to goodness, Deontay Wilder could fight, could have a fight in the Dallas State, in Dallas Stadium. By the way, Dallas Stadium holds like 60,000 people. For the people that are not from the United States, he could have a fight in the middle of Wembley Stadium. He could have it at Wembley Stadium he could have 90,000 people there and people and Eddie Hearn would swear to God that only 6,000 of those people actually bought tickets and the rest were given away. It doesn't matter what Deontay Wilder does. Eddie Hearn always insists on saying that Deontay Wilder's ticket sales are terrible that the amount of views that he had in his fight are terrible. He does it every single solitary time. But this is the first time that he's done it that I didn't actually think he would have the audacity to do so because you can go to AX, uh, you can go to the website where the tickets are available and clearly see that there are not very many tickets available and they're not available at, and the ones that are available are as have astronomical prices associated with them. But Eddie Hearn says the Deontay Wilder ticket sales, that they're only 60% of the tickets have been sold for the fight. Okay, only 60% have been sold for the fight. How do you know Eddie Hearn? How do you know? But see, he changed it from 6,000. See, he likes them sixes. 6,000, 60%. Man, it's just because it, it's so natural to him. He, he just keeps using the same numbers. Like, man, how does Eddie Hearn know? Go go to AXS, which is the ticket sale place for Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury. And you will see that there are not very there is not there are not 40 percent of the tickets available in that in that arena. But even if there were goodness gracious, man, the ticket prices on that thing are it's crazy now. But what, how many people does that sell? How many is that, right? So if that is, I think that's like a Canelo Alvarez, the, it's, that's similar to the, to the gate that would come from a Canelo Alvarez fight because there's 22, I think that's MGM Grand takes up to 20,000 people. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's somewhere around 20,000 people can get into the MGM Grand and if that is true, I can probably look this up in the middle of this. Forgive me. It might be a little bit of longer video, um, but let's uh, let's look it up. Regardless, well, it's 16,000. So 16,800 uh, people f they could fit into there. So you're saying he sold 60 percent of that, which means 50 percent of that is eight. So you're looking at over 10,000 tickets sold at a thousand at over a thousand dollars a pop. That's a that's a whole lot of money, but I don't believe the 60% because you can clearly go there and see that there is that pit that there are seats available in the nosebleed sections and some seats cl available close to the nosebleed sections, but that's about it. It's not a whole lot of tickets left and we're still a month out for the fight. So the rest of those tickets will go. And the reason that I, one of the reasons that I know the fight is doing well is because I got a call from my cousin who said her husband is going to the fight. So if I get a call from my cousin and I rarely get a I rarely get a call from my cousin, but she knows that I'm into boxing said, Hey, my husband's going to the Deontay Wilder fight. Like, Oh, okay. Wow. All right. So there must really be interest because that is somebody who 
I would that those are those are people that like boxing, but they're you know they're closer to the casual side of the street than you know than than they are to being you know what you would consider a hardcore boxing fan. So the interest is absolutely positively there for this fight. Um, but on the other hand, <laughs> why is Eddie Hearn doing it right now? I know he's lying. Forgive me. I know he's lying. Most people out here know Eddie Hearn is lying because he's lied about it before. You go, you talk. People have been going to Deontay. People in my comment section and people who are subscribed to my channel, you guys, you guys have gone to Deontay Wilder fights in the Barclays Center, gone to Deontay Wilder fights in LA, gone to Deontay Wilder fights uh, in Vegas, the last one in Vegas. And every time you go there, it seems to me, or if you go to YouTube and you look at the actual you look at the actual um, arena. You see that the arena looks packed. There are people all the way up to the all the way up into the nosebleed seats. But so, just how come? How come it is that every time this place is full, they always find a way to act as if it was half full, that it wasn't all the way full. It's just, it's just a corny. But what? So obviously that is to you know crap on the competition, crap on the competition's um, performance. And or and or make excuses about, you know, why <laughs> make yours look in comparison, because I did go look and to see what the great champion from the zone uh, from a match room, Andre Demetrius Andre was doing this weekend. <laughs> now, let's compare the best card that in the United States that that um, the zone is going to put on this year. And the Deontay Wilder and the Deontay Wilder fight <laughs> to date. To date, that would have to be this great show that they're putting on in Miami on a Thursday before the Super Bowl with Demetrius Andre and somebody I'd never heard of, Keeler, and Tevin Farmer versus Jojo Diaz, which is really the best fight on the card. But for some reason, Jojo Diaz and Tevin Farmer are not even the second, aren't don't even get second billing. They get their third billing behind another YouTube fighter. <laughs> so how good of a promoter can you be? A boxing promoter can you be? If you have to resort to gimmicks like a YouTube fighter on a YouTube fighter fighting. I don't even know who the guy's fighting because seriously, man, the thrill is there. The thrill was never there for me. Right. The thrill was never there, but the thrill, but the thrill is definitely gone for me. Any interest is gone for me in this one because not and they're looking to do it again. And Eddie Hearn is looking to do it again. He's looking to have he says he's oh we're in you're in negotiations with Paul Logan or Logan Paul, whoever the guy that fought uh KSI, uh the guy at KSI, I think his name is KSI. No matter I know his name is KSI. Uh that guy to fight Antonio Brown. A guy, and I don't know much about T Antonio Brown because I don't really watch a lot of football, but I know this. He's not a boxer. He is a very good athlete. Uh, I do believe he's a wide receiver who's having a lot of a lot of issues with the NFL and a lot of issues going on outside, um, you know, in his personal life. It seems like he's getting arrested and having issues and stuff like that. You know, that Logan Paul is going to fight him. Why? Because the zone can because Eddie Hearn is not a good enough promoter in the United States and he doesn't have the quality of actual boxing of actual boxers on his roster to attract fans, which is something that is not the case with Deontay Wilder. It's not the case with the PBC fighters. Uh, it's not. the. I don't even really think it's the case with um with top rank top rank has the ability to sell out places if they want to send if they want to send uh terrence crawford somewhere like omaha or um if in new york they'll probably do real well with they're gonna if tiafimo lopez beats vasily lomachenko they'll have a big star in their hands with with that one but anyway man it's just it just really gets old really gets old this this constant attempt to demean and to demean Deontay Wilder and see, and then as soon as he says it, 
similar to that Rick Glazier, what happened with that Rick Glazier stuff and the 250, two, uh, 2,500 ticket sales that was, that was attributed to Rick Glazier. Rick Glazier said that he didn't say it, but come on, man. You more than likely said that crap because you say a lot of other crap. So, and or if he didn't say it, it's something that is very believable that he would say. So, uh, but people just run with it. So people are going to just run with this. Oh, only 60% of the ticket sales. What about Deontay Wilder's ticket sales? Man, get out of it, man. Stop taking everything this dude says to heart, man. The dude is a liar. Anyway, it is what it is. I can't. I'm I'm looking forward to Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury rematch, man. It's going to be a really big event. It's going to be an exciting event. Hopefully the fight is very good. Um, I or ex, well, actually, I hope really in my heart of hearts, I hope that it turns like turns out like uh, Deontay Wilder versus Bermain Stavern too. <laughs> the same way Deontay Wilder walk up hit him two times and the fight be over. I'd take it, but it, I doubt if that's what actually happens. Anyway, it is what it is, and with that. I'm out. Peace.